Have you ever read something that you know is just utter and complete nonsense? It's just so wrong. It's offensive. So I was sitting on the couch a few weeks ago, and I was doing my normal morning routine when I decided to pick up my phone and scroll Twitter for just a second. And I came across this graphic that described a dichotomy between what it called fake work and real work. Fake work, it said, was simply mental self-pleasuring. I was kind of shocked by the language, and honestly, I kind of respond to it and said, look, this is clearly written by somebody who has no real-life experience, and definitely not somebody who runs a successful business. And it was hating on podcasts. Who the heck hates on podcasts? So I set my phone down, kind of in frustration, on the table beside me, and I got back to my morning routine. I picked up one of the many books that I'm trying to work through right now, and I immediately got frustrated because somebody had moved my special highlighter. Now, you have to understand this highlighter is very unique. It is irreplaceable. I spent a couple dollars on this because it is the perfect highlighter for the paper, and for the books that I read. There was no way I was going to be able to continue reading this book without that pen. So I put the book back down. And as I sat there for a second, the graphic kept bothering me. So I pulled it back up to take a closer look. It said fake work was the kind of work that makes people feel like they're doing something. They're the kind of people that have long morning routines. They read lots of books. They do a ton of planning. They listen to a lot of podcasts. Of course, that's contrasted against real work, which was getting started and applying lessons from far fewer books and doing a quick plan and getting to action. And I had to admit, through the second read, that did sound a little bit like me. At that point, I set my phone down. It was time to go prepare some coffee in my kitchen. So I walked into the kitchen, and as I was standing in front of my coffee pot, I had an epiphany, and I kind of had to wince because just a few months ago, I had so much excessive coffee gear that I had to give it all away, and it was in multiple boxes. I had multiple types of brewers. I had multiple types of grinders. I had every piece of equipment you could imagine sitting in a graveyard of gear, used once and then set aside. I realized I spent more time collecting coffee equipment than I ever actually spent making or drinking the coffee. In fact, most of the time when I drank coffee, I was sitting in a coffee shop with someone else who made the coffee. I mean, who the heck collects gear and then still drinks at a coffee shop? So I finished my routine with the one remaining piece of coffee equipment I had, poured myself a cup and walked back and sat down again on the couch. And as I sipped and considered, I knew the author was right. I needed to quit pretending that listening to all my podcasts or trying out new apps was productive. Leading communicating, writing, creating is actually productive. And just like my graveyard of coffee gear, I had beside me a graveyard of 27% read Kindle books, multiple to-do apps, and frankly, a tendency to do things that felt like work, but all I was doing was collecting and never completing. So I'll ask you another question. Have you ever read something so completely right, but it takes you a while to finally realize it? Clearly, I've been there many, many times. And if you're willing, I think, to embrace discomfort, to feel the tension, it's there that you'll finally break through and see what life is teaching you. As for what life is teaching me, it's time to get some real 
work done.